God's plan for Job. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Psalm 139 verse 1. Job 1, 2, 13, 40 and 42. In the land of Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and kept away from evil. Job had seven sons and three daughters. He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 plying oxen, 500 donkeys, and he had many servants. He was one of the richest and greatest men among all the people of the East. One day, Satan said to the Lord, I have been all over the earth, and I've seen the special protection you give to your servant Job. Satan means the one who accuses. If Job wasn't so rich, and if you didn't protect him, he would surely curse you to your face. The Lord answered Satan, saying, Very well. You can take all these earthly possessions, but no harm must come to Job himself. Then Satan went away from the Lord to wreak his destruction. One day, a messenger came to Job. The oxen were plowing in the field and the donkeys were nearby. All of a sudden, bandits attacked and stole all of them. The bandits had killed everyone. I was the only one to escape and bring you this news. And while he was still speaking, a second messenger arrived. Fire fell from the sky. It killed all the sheep and the servants. I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. And while he was still speaking, a third messenger came and said, All your camels have been stolen and your servants were killed. I'm the only one to escape. While he was still speaking, yet another messenger arrived and said, Your sons and daughters were together in one house when a mighty wind swept in from the desert and crashed a house on top of them. They're all dead, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you this terrible news. When Job received all of this bad news, he tore his clothes and shaved his hair to show how sad he was. Job fell to his knees and worshipped God. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In the middle of all this disaster, Job did not sin against God. A second time, Satan came before the Lord and said, A man will give all he has for his own life. But if you strike down Job, he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well. Job is in your hands. Do what you will, but you may not take his life. Satan went away from the Lord and caused Job to get painful sores all over his body. Job's wife said to him, Are you still holding on to God? Even when you have lost everything, curse God and die so that your suffering can end. And Job replied, Do we only look to God when things go well? Do we forget Him in times of trouble? And still Job remained faithful, and he did not sin against God. But the more Job thought about it, the more he grew angry at God. He didn't sin. Why was God punishing him? The Lord said to Job, Who are you, Job, to question me, Almighty God? Do you think all this honor is because of your own doing? Job replied, I know that you can do all things, Lord. Nothing you plan can be thrown off course. Until now, my ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. I admit that I am wrong. Praise your name. After Job prayed, the Lord blessed him even more than before. The Lord restored to him everything that the enemy had stolen and destroyed. We discover that God watches over us. He protects us and blesses us. He knows what we need, even when times seem tough. God is faithful to complete the good work He starts within us. Memorize 
My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Job 42 verse 5